On this episode of Pimp My Gun, we'll be trying out Mag of Holding on the new KV Broadside aftermarket part, the Jack Jawbreaker, which converts the shotgun into a battle rifle. And with this conversion, it gets 177% boost to its headshot damage. Let's go test it out. But before we test it out, we gotta unlock it first. And luckily for us, we can get almost all these challenges done just with the Haymaker. Because for these challenges, a good amount of them just requires you use our recommended shotgun. And luckily for me, my Haymaker was recommended. So I went ahead and picked this up with this build. But the challenges include getting kills with fire damage on. So I went ahead and brought in Napalm Burst. There's challenges for hip fire kills. There's a challenge for 20 kills without getting hit 10 times. There's mimic kills with a recommended weapon. So I'm gonna be trying to do some bounties here and checking out some strongholds to see if any spawn and then after that once we get enough money for pack three you just need to get 150 kills in a high threat zone so we should be able to get this done pretty quick come on bounty don't let me down i did i don't think our bounty strats work and we're getting everything but mimics these strongholds gotta have them though right and i see two right on top what's going on fellas there we go there's three more of those and we're done what's up dudes lovely weather we're having oh we bring her out of one so that's not gonna count fantastic Love to see it. This one better count. There we go. And this is our last one. Perfect. Mimics are done. There we go. And now we can get pack a punch three and just get our 150 kills here in tier three. But if you don't want to go through and get these kills in the high tier zone, there's also a challenge for just getting kills with a pistol while it's epic rarity or just using a battle rifle with speed call, which I think is probably the cheaper option in terms of acquisitions. And we're probably not going to be able to complete this contract, but I'm going to start up this escort so we can get a decent amount of zombies spawning in here. An outlast would probably be better or maybe even a spore contract, but those are too far away for me. We don't got to get this ACV to the finish line. We just got to get enough kills so we can get out of here. This thing is just working as a big decoy. This is actually perfect. How's this at 0% and still going? We got a zombie ACV. Oh, and now it's gone. Oh, there's our 200 fire damage kills. And there's our tier three kills. Now you can get the rest of these challenges done here at the x -Fill. There's our 200 hip fire kills. Oh, now we're finally done with everything. There's our kills without taking damage. That's five challenges completed for this week. And now we've unlocked the new aftermarket part. Just in time for our helicopter to get here. Time to leave. Well, now that that's done, we can take this thing for a test drive. And if you didn't catch my build during the intro, here it is again. But I'm really hoping that this aftermarket part can make this weapon decent. It said in the menu that it increases headshot damage, but it didn't even one tap a tier one zombie. Now it isn't upgraded our pack a punch or anything yet, but that is a little concerning, I'm not gonna lie. The fire rate on it's definitely decent. I feel like that's insanely faster than the normal KV broadside, but that has me a little concerned. And I don't normally use optics on my builds in zombies. It kind of feels like a waste of an attachment, but for this gun, the iron sights are just very small. So I went ahead and threw an optic on here so we can take advantage of the headshot damage if it exists. Anyways, let's go ahead and upgrade this and go take it for a spin over in tier two. And now that we've thrown Mag of Holding on this, we have 520 bullets in reserve. That's not a whole lot, but if this can do some good damage, maybe it'll work. We just took out those zombies pretty fast. Maybe I'm focusing a bit too much on like the single shot potential of this weapon. Cause now that this is a battle rifle, it's fully automatic. So I just gotta, you know, hold down on the trigger a little bit and hopefully we don't run out of ammo. But you guys know the drill. Let's test this against a tier two bounty. See where we're at damage wise. And I just said, maybe I'm focusing too much on the single shot potential, but how much does one shot get us on this mimic? Not a whole lot, but then we hold down. Ooh, it is not killing him very fast. So much for that headshot damage increase. Maybe mimics are the exception because technically it's not a headshot. I'm hitting him in the crit, which is just like his mouth hole, but it is a jawbreaker. That's literally the name of the weapon. Ed and Eddie would be going crazy over this. It's taken a bit for us to even get him down to half health. And this is legendary tier. He's giving us a run for our money. He's just eating these. And with the low ammo we got, I don't know about this gun so far. We took him out, but it was not very convincing. Let's throw on some dead shot. Maybe that'll help out. And since we're right here near tier three, let me test this out against some tier three zombies before we get it fully packed to three. Can this really do anything to him? Broke armor. It seems to struggle a bit against armor, but against flesh, it can take them out. But it takes like, what, 30 bullets? Yikes, dude. Yeah. 
I guess we'll have to see when we get to pack three. But you know what? I'll keep a glass half full. Maybe Mimics just, uh, they got the sauce against this. You know, they're just strong against this specific weapon. Maybe the Mangler will, will go down a bit easier. All right, Mangler, help me out here. Let me see if this gun's actually good. It's like a decent amount of shots to break the, the armor. Not terrible. What's your health at? Okay, actually, we're starting to feed into it. There we go. We got him in a stun a little bit. We had him there for a second. Let's try to get him back into it. There we go. He's doing the mangler step. The one, two. I wish I could see his health bar, but I'm going to assume it's near half. Oh, less than half. Way less. He's basically dead. That was way faster than a mimic. And the zombies are still going down pretty easily. Maybe I just got to get used to this weapon. I got to get warmed up. One more bounty and we should be able to get pack three. And it's the disciple. We got the trifecta of bounties. And we crashed. Why do you always got to check for update while well, I'm in the middle of doing shit, game? What the fuck? That's the real trifecta right there. Get all your good loot, hop in the game, and crash. Awesome. All right, I've built up enough cash again. Now we can finally get this thing to pack three. And tier three is crowded. Let's see if we can find a nice quiet area to test this out. There's a tier three zombie not doing anything. Takes a few shots to go down though. No armor on that one either. Still slightly concerned about this weapon, but we don't have our dead shot anymore. So I need to build up a little more cash because we're not getting that critical hit boost, but it can handle tier three zombies just a bit slower without dead shot. Let's go ahead and pick up this tier three bounty anyways. We should be able to get enough for dead shot like on the way there. All right, now we got dead shot back. We can see this thing's full potential. Still takes a few shots to take down tier threes. These guys are a little bit buffed from this disciple, but this is concerning. This weapon doesn't seem that great. There's got to be a catch to this. How do we make this better? Yeah, that's not even doing a whole lot of damage to this disciple. He's just sitting here spawning zombies in like it's nothing. Can we even get the mask broken? I'm just spamming shots on him. There we go. I think we finally broke it. Oh, and he's got a big horde of zombies here. But we got some help. Oh, and he's cornering it. He's making the disciple run away. He's beating his ass. Is he hitting up with the, the Kong glove? No, those are the Kadochis. Why are you chasing all these other dudes? You come here and you fight me, you bastard. This has been very, very underwhelming. Uh, who would have guessed it? Because it's already on a terrible weapon, the KV broadside. I don't know what their fetish is in making like any other shotgun not named the Lockwood or the Haymaker like bad or good. I, I lost my train of thought. What I'm trying to say is basically every shotgun in this game sucks and turning it into a battle rifle, not going to change a whole lot, especially when you don't got any ammo for it. Stop healing. Jeez. We used every bullet we had, even had help from another team and he might have healed a little bit, but he's still not even close to half health. Like, this is a really cool idea for an aftermarket part, and I'm sure it does decent in, like, multiplayer. But in zombies, this is terrible. What if we throw on an uh, ammo mod? Let's throw on Napalm Burst. And we're out of ammo again. Go ahead and get him, Ozzy. Talk to him. Because there's no zombies around for me to kill. No ammo around for me to pick up. I hate this thing. I'm getting mad at it. Finish the job, Ozzy. You get him too, Joker. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Thank you, gentlemen. Well, we can probably already guess how this is going to go based on our last fight with the Disciple, but let's try it anyways. How's this doing against the Stormcaller? Maybe it'll be a little bit better since he's over here in Tier 1. Oh, shit. He's trying to fly out of Tier 1. Get over here. Don't you try to leave the circle. Where'd you even go? What? He's literally gone. Hello? Oh, there he is. He respawned. You back to full health? Not like I did a whole lot anyways. But yes, he is. He just said, you know what? We're leaving. I'm healing up. We try to take out some of these zombies here in the storm. Surprisingly, we can take them out. So at least that's not a concern. And he's somehow back to full health again. How did you do that? You know what? We're going to soft reset on this. Give me the insta-kill. I'm going to take out all your little zombie buddies. And then I'm repairing my mask. All right, let's try this again. I'm gonna throw a monkey bomb. And now it's just me and you. And an aether shroud. He broke his mask finally. We're doing, like, zero damage to him. Like, none. This thing is a pea shooter. This is ridiculous. This is the one of the weakest guns I've seen. Why even make this into an aftermarket part if you're not going to increase the damage at all? Well, I guess they did. But, like, 
This just shows how bad it was before then. You know what? Let me try something. You get a shock stick. I like that. Shock stick does more damage. I would be shocked if we get this guy dead before the storm starts moving. Because we can get him to sit still and just unload shots into him. And it's still taking forever for his health to go down. Oh, now somebody's asking for an extra sigil in chat. That reminds me, I don't even have mine. We crashed with my elder sigil. All right, Stormcaller, wrap this up. I need you to die so I can start looking for a sigil. We're just now getting him to half health. This is embarrassing. You know what? I might just call it quits on this guy. It's going to take us millennia to kill him. He's got a better chance of catching cholera. Oh, wait, insta-kill? Hold on. This changes everything. We're still not doing a whole lot with insta-kill. Are you kidding me? So this is our chance. We just got to lay the wood while we got this. Stop moving. You stay still. He's so close. Almost there. Don't you fly away. Uh, let's stow our gas mask because it's about to break. Just want to hang on to that bad boy. And don't you fucking heal. I'm going to be so pissed if you just fly away and heal. Come on. There's a few more shots. Big whistle there, too. Got him. Damn. What a trash weapon. Let's get out of here. Let's go try to find a sigil and a, a mega abomination to try this out on. There's currently a contract drought in tier three. Come on. Hold on. There's a bounty over here. If we can get to it fast enough, we might actually be able to do it. Let's go. We got one. What's up, buddy? Can we actually take you down? Or is this going to be another struggle fest? So far, not doing a whole lot, but the helmet's broke. We do have the MMA that's good against them. And our, our nemesis, the Mimic, is here. Fantastic. Oh, now a horde of zombies is coming, too. This thing cannot hang. I want a refund. I want all the legendary Aether tools I've used on this back. We've barely even done a dent. Oh, because the fucking Disciple showed up. My other nemesis. I feel like they didn't used to do that. I think with this last update, they made it so Disciples heal other HVTs or bosses or elites or whatever the fuck you want to call them. And he just died. He just kind of just fell over. Oh, our Disciple might have killed him. Okay, I'll take it. And no rift. We gotta keep working at it. Keep trying them out. Maybe this guy will let us join. Oh, he did. What a lad. Oh, and we got Spinal Husk. Didn't even know we needed that for this gun. What we get from that? There's the sigil we've been looking for, finally. I still need to find an abomination. I don't got a whole lot of faith in this, but we at least have to try. All right, buddy. You know the drill. Shoot that laser. And let's see how this does. Damage is, I guess, decent. We broke a face. I've seen weapons go all the way through a whole laser and not break a face, so that's something. Better than nothing. Let's go for the middle now. The health slightly going down. Survived that whole laser without a face breaking. He's going for another. Let's keep working on that middle. Nope, oh, nope. He stopped shooting. Throw another decoy. Back into the fountain. Go for it. And this face should finally break. Damn. Almost went through two full lasers on that one face. He's going for another. And I think somebody's trying to help us out here. Yeah, they are. But for the most part, probably not the weapon I would be using against an abomination. Woo. He's gone. What's going on? No. No. No way this is happening. First time, it was checking for update. That's some bullshit. This time, what is the whole server crashing? Time's not even moving. This is some bullshit, dude. Twice? Lost connection to host slash server. Connection timed out. Do I still have my stuff though? <gasps> we still have our stuff. We did get a refund. Our dreams came true. But we still haven't tested this in the Dark Aether. So we got to hop back in and try to get another sigil. Holy shit, game. Taking me for a ride today, huh? All right, Dark Aether. Here we come. I'm going to be very surprised if this can do anything here in the Dark Aether. I only got three self-revives. So hopefully at least we can leave here with our lives. And hopefully this is an abomination. Shit. Let's start this off with a nice decoy. Get all the damage in that we can. And then I think... I think I might just have to use thermites on this guy because there's no way we're taking him out. Like, we're getting some damage here, but it's going to take us a half hour to kill him. And let's switch to our thermites. Let's wait till he lasers again. There you go. Enjoy. That's the only way we're going to be able to take this guy out. Oh, and he's not happy about it. He's pissed. He's hunting us down. Shoot another one, though. Uh-huh. 
go for it. Oh, maybe I should have broke the first face and then thermited the next two. I'm not really one of them thinking guys. Why are you full health? Did I go too far away? This is stupid. This is dumb. You chased me over here, buddy. You made the sandwich. You know what? I'm not fucking around anymore. It's jug time. This gun ain't doing shit. We gotta bring in the big guns. Let me on it. Gimme. And let's get to work. Yeah, try to bite me, you dumb bitch. Shoot a laser. There you go. Or yell. Same thing. Works the same for me. I just need you to perish. Whew. What a pain in the ass. And I know we ain't gonna get anything good from this either. Time for the outlast. Now you know the rules, game. Maga holding, legendary aether tool. Those are the only two things you can drop me from this. Assuming we survive. Like, it's, it's headshot damage against zombies here. Isn't like terrible but it just like it doesn't have any bullet penetration really at least it doesn't seem like it so you're not really going to be taking out like hordes of zombies at once with this and it's just very lackluster against bosses it's a very very weak aftermarket part at least we're surviving we're making it work and that's the contract why did i get knocked right at the end we can't afford to lose these self revives Oh, they got our Elder Sigil back. Last contract, and we don't even need our gun for this. I'm gonna do a gunless run. We're starting off with a decoy. Don't care about the Disciple. He's too bitch made to kill me. And that's one. Same thing over here. Decoy. Let's get to work. Got it. Easy. I did use my gun. I shot two bullets. So much for the gun. gunless run. And one cashmere, and we're done. I love how easy this Dark Aether is. Don't love the rewards, though. I don't give a fuck about this key. I guess I'll take it. Whatever. I'll take it out of spite. Give me that full armor and I'm out. Later, zombies. We're gone. So just to recap, we got boo-boo loot with this boo-boo gun with these boo-boo servers and a boo-boo thumb. But overall, this gun is just not very good. The KV broadside in general was not that great. This aftermarket part doesn't make it much better. It's like usable now. But there's just so many more weapons out there that can just outclass this thing by a ton. It looks pretty cool. It's a cool design for an aftermarket part. I like how they're changing all these weapons, making them into completely different types of weapons with these aftermarket parts, but they can buff the damage a bit. I get they don't want it to be like super overpowered for multiplayer, but why not just have like a bit of a damage buff for zombies? I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to get out of here. Thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support, and I will see you in the next one. Later.